Hello Dino Peeps, we are pulling an all-nighter for a timing guide for the surprisingly today released Kakarodontosaurus. It's a gigantic Kianotosaurus competitor and it is spawning on all maps where Giga spawns since they share the spawn container of the Giga. So if you don't have any on your server right now, make sure that you kill all the Gigas to make space for the Kakars to spawn. The taming itself is a little bit different than the Giga, but out of all of the new taming methods, I really like this one, so let's tame one together. There are two parts to taming them. First, you need to make it trust you enough so you can mount it. And then you need to kill other creatures with it together. And the second part is the actual taming. But I would suggest that you trap it. And to trap it, I'm using metal dino gate frames with two bear traps in it. Use at least two bear traps, better three, because once they are trapped, you need to be close to them in order to close the trap behind them. As the first food to make them trust you, you need to feed it dino corpses. It doesn't matter if it's a wild dino or your own tames, but you want to use your own tames because there is a trick. The amount of progress you get for them trusting you depends on the drag weight of the dinosaur that you feed. But you also need to be able to drag the corpses to the Kakarodontosaurus. In various experiments, we found out that the drag weight of 300 is the magic maximum a dino can reach, so you can still drag it. You can't drag the dino itself though, but the babies you can drag. But keep in mind, this guide is not made in god mode and on 1x taming rates. In god mode, you can drag all kind of animals, no matter of their weight. But as a normal player, you are limited. Therefore, you need to be aware that you can only drag smaller animals. I tried it with Bloodstalker babies and it worked just fine, but a little bit more convenient are either Megatherium babies or Trike babies. And since Trikes lay eggs, this might be the best solution for you. So just hatch a few and bring them in cryos with you. When the car, car is trapped, uncryo the baby and kill it. Make sure to leave a little bit of time between uncryoing and killing it, because otherwise the baby will despawn. Uh, that happened to me, as you can see here. While wearing good armor, drag the baby to the Kakarodontosaurus and you will see that he will sniffle in the air and then look down and eat the baby. The amount of progress is only dependent on the drag weight of the dino. The level of the dino corpse does not matter at all. You will also get the same amount of progress no matter what level the Kakarodontosaurus is. In this case, you need two babies for the full progress. Once the Kakarodontosaurus had the two babies, the progress indicator will turn green and now you need to quickly remove a gate and then mount the dino. And now you have to kill tames around you. Each tame gives you about 1% progress on official multipliers. I would suggest bring Sanguine Elixir to get a 30% bump on top of the progress. And you have 600 seconds in total to get to 100% taming. If you fail to get to 100%, then the Karkar will drop you again and you will have to trap him again and gain his trust again. You will not lose taming progress though, with a second run, so only the efficiency will go down by a little bit. It will also go down by a little bit if your tame gets hurt while killing creatures. And once it is tamed because you reached 100%, it will throw you off and you can then only ride it with a saddle. Now, the Kakarodontosaurus has a few buffs that are worth mentioning. First is the Blood Rage buff. In your hotbar left side, you see the Blood Rage stacks. You can get up to 100 stacks and with each stack you get 1.75% more damage and an insanely increased healing. The stacks are built up by killing enemies and you will get one stack per 2500 damage that you did to an enemy once this enemy dies. So if you for example kill a Titanosaurus you will almost get a fully stack cap Kakarodontosaurus. If you roar with C or the button on your console that you use for roaring you can give your allies a speed buff for 5 seconds per stack and it will use all of the stacks at once. And if you're not actively killing things, you will lose one stack every 45 seconds. Then there is the kill frenzy buff. The kill frenzy buff lasts 10 seconds after a kill. You will get 60% more movement speed and in that time you also have better maneuvering abilities. The Kakarodontosaurus can turn on the spot in all directions immediately. And you're also immune to stuns. Then there's the shredded debuff. And you can see the shredded debuff on enemies when you bite them and when they survive the bite as a, like a blue cloud around them. And this debuff means that they will not be able to heal as efficient as they usually do. Then there is the incited buff. And this is the buff that is applied to Ellie's when you roar with a Kakarodontosaurus at them. If you want to breed these little cuties, then keep in mind the timers are the same as the Giga timers, so they're quite annoyingly long. But the Carodontosaurus can be incubated easier because it only requires 38 degrees 
and it munches on raw meat after. I hope this little overview helped you to get your own Cacarodontosaurus and if you have any hints, advice or questions, just drop them into the comments and I'm happy to answer them. Enjoy taming your own little cutie dino and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!